Door Hardware Nerds is uh, proudly sponsoring a nacho bar at NGA, mm. the last day, the main event. Trying to give people a reason to stick around and also just kind of uh, as a thank you to the attendees and the exhibitors. And so a uh, big thank you to DHN for sponsoring. I think it's certainly going to add to the fun. We can ride bowls, drink beer, and also eat nachos now. <laughs> yes, Indeed. nachos. And that perfectly segues into why we're uh, doing this uh, show today. Uh, we decided that it might be fun to have a little nacho showdown, a uh, little nacho competition. I feel like there's a nacho pun in there where it's nach- nacho business. Well, uh, to nacho regular competition. Old, yeah. What do, you call, <laughs> what do you call cheese that is not yours? <laughs> nacho. <laughs> nacho. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you said it perfectly. Nacho <laughs> typical competition. <laughs> There's going to be a poll up and you're going to get to vote on who the winner is. So we don't pick it today. We're just going to show you what we made and you're going to pick. Just know that I will hold everything against anyone that votes against me. <laughs> and I have a little bit of power to mess up your life a tiny bit. It'll be anonymous voting. <laughs> 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 so I'm excited. I've been thinking about this for a couple of weeks now. Well, then kick us off. Show us what you got. Okay. So what I have here is I've got two types of chips. I've got corn and flour chips. I've got like a taco seasoned shredded chicken, uh, black beans. I've got fresh tomatoes, fresh avocados. I've got guacamole and sour cream to dip into. And I think, oh, oh, two different types of cheese. I have the four cheese blend, like the Mexican cheese one. And Hatch Chili Monterey Jack cheese. Ooh. For the listeners, viewers, is it, we can, we have categories, presentation, um, overall recipe, and salesmanship. Is there a pageantry <laughs> award? <laughs> a pageantry. A mis- miscongeniality. <laughs> Spoiler, it's never me. No. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to think about amazing. categories. And I know it's fresh because those avocados aren't brown at all. So you must have just sliced those right before uh, yes. recording time. I'm surprised they didn't brown a little bit because they're it's so hot. That sweet jersey doesn't breathe. It does. It does. And I thought, you know, game time. What better than my DHN football jersey to put nice. on for today? I love it. Yeah, we should save the best for last. So, Andrew, go ahead. <laughs> I'll burn. And because I liked it, I'll go next. <laughs> so I don't have the full platter and I'll, I'll, we'll post pictures, right? I got a whole montage video. Let me see how I can place this here. This is mm-hmm. uh, Southern California, Mexican meets uh, Korean barbecue. Mm-hmm. I went to, we have ample options for carnicerias and so i got the good chips that were freshly fried this morning topped with a combination i did two cheeses like mia went with a oaxacan cheese and then a little cotija on Mm -hmm. top Uh, i did some beef short ribs that marinated in a a homemade korean uh, marinade that i comboed with it calls for asian pears but i instead added peaches with the atlanta theme and so it marinated in that overnight and then i grilled it uh, about an hour ago and then topped that off with a korean barbecue sauce some uh, bang bang sauce which is another topping Um, it's also korean Uh, jalapenos cilantro green onions a little bit of boons, chili oil, and I think that's it. Uh, oh, and the topper, um, most people might not like it, so don't hold it against me, but just keeping it authentic, I did top it with some diced uh, kimchi. Mmm. Love kimchi. Love kimchi. That's got to give it a unique flavor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my breath is going to be awesome for probably the next three days. <laughs> Couple that with some of your DHN <laughs> unhinged coffee. I'm going to be having all kinds of halitosis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad this is virtual. No. <laughs> I went with something that was a little non-conventional, but also just a, a family favorite, um, just the the Korean barbecue style. So my, mm. my kids or wife don't eat kimchi or jalapenos or anything, but they'll get down. I, I got some extra short ribs marinating still that I'll grill tonight for dinner. Well, that sounds delicious. I mean, Mia, yes. yours sounds really good as well. Nice and fresh. And- now let's hear yeah. the the runner up, Benji. <laughs> so my thought is, I know Benji's a foodie. So Benji could have gone over the top here, but also he's a jokester. So I feel like we could be seeing like a Taco Bell nacho platter. 
or he he just he's <laughs> opening the can of cheese and just <laughs> like, <laughs> on <laughs> how did you guys know i pulled out the velveta it was uh, the big guns <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding uh you mia you know me too well you know me too well okay so i have a preface for my presentation real fast okay so uh, sounds like an excuse already <laughs> so what is the worst part of nachos the bottom soggy pieces exactly so today i introduce you to you deconstructed nachos to where each chip you get to craft your personalized bite to add it on to the perfectly crisped and melted cheese without the sogginess on the bottom so today does, does this mean you didn't make nachos yet i did no 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 no, no. <laughs> let, let me let me uh so what I have for you is all the wet ingredients in one bowl, all the crispy blue corn tortilla chips uh, with melted cheese, all separate separated, and so it's nice and crispy. And then as a uh, palate cleanser, some table side uh, homemade uh, guac. Okay, I'll start with the, the main ingredients. So I have a steak chorizo blend, a cheese bechamel sauce on top of it, a little French inspired with some fresh ingredients on top, you know, to add a little color and flavor and uh, a little bit of that uh, homemade guac on there as well. So you can craft the perfect bite with your blue chip tortilla. Oh, caramelized onions, black beans, fresh cilantro and then the 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 blue corn chips so if you guys had red hots blue corn chips they're fantastic uh, i would highly recommend it and then i use two types of cheese as well i went a little classic with a farm style cheddar from tillamook and then i went with the habanero pepper jack well done to all i wish our viewers could taste it as well because like i, I already i already took a bite i couldn't help it and part of the video you know um <laughs> it was uh it was uh very good probably one of my favorites so far yeah i didn't take a bite yet babies. i've been waiting should we should we craft our bite oh wait your guys' chips are already soggy sorry i feel like you're trying to sway the vote um <laughs> <laughs> cheers everyone loves hearing and seeing people eat on camera and microphone right <laughs> mukbang <laughs> You hear that? That's crunch. There's no soggy. <laughs> Your point is invalid. Well, I will just say nice job to all. I think um, they both looked amazing in different ways, um, in awesome ways. And I I refuse to ever vote for myself. Um, I got to say presentation. It's all Mia. Um, excuses and pregame backstory goes to Benji. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but the addition of the chorizo and the the, the bechamel um, is a nice touch as well. I've always uh, burnt the hell out of that anytime I tried to make one. So if you pulled it off, kudos there. So I think we all win, though. Comment below with who you thought won. Also, we'll have a poll going out there. Vote for your favorite, which one looks the best that you think tastes the best virtually. Um, hopefully you can like smell it almost through your screen, which kind of sounds gross if you think about it. But <laughs> if I had to pick one to try right now, it'd be Anders. <laughs> but now they're oh, soggy, yeah. according to Benji. And also, my <laughs> office is going to smell like this for probably the next few days. <laughs>